Hey guys, it's Tick and Tech, and welcome back to Spyro: The yeah. Reignited Trilogy. This game that you won't notice, but we will. We haven't played or recorded it in a long time. No, we haven't. It's been like a month since the last recording. Yep, which is just wonderful. Well, All right, it's totally fine. The freaking bear that I hate money bags. Wouldn't mind cashing in a few gems to learn how to climb. I'd be he used to be one of my favorite characters. No, but that was before I knew feet. what capitalism was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Yes, yeah, please. You a bitch. Okay. Yeah. Use the left <laughs> yeah, okay. I know how to do the thing. Do you? Bye, idiot. I do know how to climb. <laughs> <laughs> My gems. No. Oh, <laughs> anything with the gems. I'm pretty sure I didn't pick any up in there too, which is perfect. <laughs> like from now on, we can completely hundred percent uh, home worlds. Yeah. Yeah. Why as that? soon as we get into them. Why? Because now we have the climbing ability. Ooh. And then we don't have to worry about the head bash until later levels. Mm. But not home worlds. Right. And you get one ability in each home world. First it's swimming, then it's climbing ladders, and then it's the head bash. Hmm. Yeah. We're gonna go this way first. Because we have to go complete glimmer. Hmm. Because we have the talisman, but that's it. We have a bunch of other stuff we have to go get. Because we didn't know how to climb before. Okay. See, look at that. We're missing all three orbs. Oh, wow. It's not like I couldn't have gotten two of them while I was there, but... <laughs> you know. <laughs> Can't believe you didn't want any of these wafers, brah. I'm good. They're <laughs> good. They're like strawberry wafers. I'm not saying I don't like wafers, I just prefer the vanilla ones if I have to eat them. Why? Or like Kit Kats. I don't mind Kit Kats. Have you tried these strawberry wafers? I have before. Have you? I know what strawberry wafers taste like, dude. Delicious is what they taste like. They're pretty good. It's just, I pref you know, I'm not partial to them. Huh. That's all. And that is totally 100% A-OK, -okay, my guy. No. I refuse. That's very rude. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, I have some stuff in the fridge that I got from work. Yeah. You gotta try it, man. It is like some of the best food I've ever had. It tastes so good. I don't believe you. No, no, but I'm serious, man. I really like it. <laughs> and friggin' Shay says it's really good too. Mm. I'll try Shay's palate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could that be considered an insult? <gasps> Potentially. I don't trust your palate because you know it's the worst taste. How? Where, where, where have you seen all I mean, things? I guess, in a, like, just like with anime fans, before you can have shit taste, you must have no taste. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody has a shit taste in anime. Oh. But that's how, after going full circle in the friggin' <laughs> life of the anime fan. Oh, yeah. You totally. should go watch that Gigook video. I think that's his name. Gigak? Gigak? Whatever. We should just watch Please Teach Me. No. Why? It sounds horrible. You never seen Please Teacher Man? No, I haven't watched it yet. I plan on it eventually, but like my anime watch list is so fucking big. That's like one of those. The, that's like the anime that I started watching when I first started watching anime. Really? The first one. The first anime I saw, other than like freaking Dragon Ball or Naruto, was Cat Planet Cuties, and that's because <laughs> you were watching it. Yeah. And Cat Planet Cuties does not hold up that well. Like, it's an alright anime, way later in life, but it's not good. It's got fan service. No, it is fan service. <laughs> there, is a there, there is a distinct difference there that needs to be made. There are anime that have fan service, like Fairy Tale and Naruto and the like, right? <laughs> and then there are anime that are fan service, <laughs> like High School DxD, Cat Planet Cuties. Mm. Uh-huh. Still lots of plot. <laughs> 
That's basically just saying fan service. <laughs> no. And you know it. You know it. Nah. For shame. <laughs> right. It's really funny because, yeah, freaking I had Cat Planet Cuties <laughs> on my iPod. Why? Because I bought it. Uh. It was like one of those animes back before like I got anime for free or streamed it. Yeah. And so I just bought Cat Planet Cuties for my <laughs> iPod. So it's just on there. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're a pirate and you know it, clap your hands. Yeah, pirate, how dare you? <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. You can't talk. I can talk. You can't hear me talking right now. <laughs> no, you can't talk. You don't get to talk shit. I'll do it Where right did now. I learn all my dirty ways from? I don't know. Other pirates? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Technically, that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but this game though, we're playing. Oh yeah, definitely not pirated. I paid full price for this because I love Spyro. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, we're not talking about it at all. <laughs> That's fine. Dude, we were already here once before. These little lizards I gotta freaking spit stuff. I have to spit these hard things at some people. Dude, what did he do to you? Uh, he was alive. Which sounds a little rough. Like, oh, not rough. A uh, little, like... Demented? No. What is the right term? Sadistic? No. <laughs> it's not quite sadistic. Stupid? Oh, I made it! Oh, my, oh my god. I'm a freaking mass <laughs> Oh, have you seen the last season of Attack on Titan? No, I haven't. Are you going? But I also haven't seen the last season of it. Freaking fairy tale, and I actually like fairy tale a lot. Why haven't you seen it? <laughs> because I just haven't, dude. I've seen the first like two or three episodes, and I've seen the movie that comes after it, but like <laughs> I haven't watched the full like ninth season. <laughs> Why though? Because I just haven't, dude. What do you want from me? <laughs> Weren't you like excited about it or something? Yeah, I was, and then I was watching it while it was coming out, and then my phone lost service, and I could only watch it at your place. And it's like, I just lost the drive, because every time I was over there, we were always doing something. <laughs> I might get a service again. Yeah, I know, and, like, yeah, I could go get it, but, like, I'm not going to. <laughs> wow, shame on you. I know, and I call myself a fan of fairy tale. Uh-huh. Wow, freaking, for shame. Uh-huh. Wow, that was a very... Give me, come on. That was a very three-dimensional... Button floating over his head. Yeah. Wow, six of these guys, dude. Let's go, you stupid idiot. Yeah, we're halfway through. And I actually know where all of them are. It's really nice having the, like, super fireball, the infinite super fireball or whatever. Yeah. Because you can just shoot them with that. <laughs> and you don't actually have to worry about it. You don't actually have to play the game properly? Yeah. Which is kind of the point. Uh, if you do it right, you can actually get Super Fly and Super Flame in all three games by glitching the fuck out of it. Oh yeah. By basically breaking the game. Not even basically, you do break the game in. But you get Super, uh, you get Super Flight and Infinite Super Flight and Infinite Super Flame. For all three games. Hmm. So. You can't stop. Dude, I'm waiting for a little dude. Where I don't he? even know where he is. He's on his way. Gosh, some people, man. They're just special. Where is he, bro? I don't think I have to walk with him. Here he is. Freaking <laughs> takes forever. He has bad pathfinding. No, his pathfinding is fine. No, bad. Because it's not like... Oh yeah, he's finding a path. He actually has a predetermined route. <laughs> which is different than path by So why'd you say that in Harry Potter? Because. <laughs> because. Yeah. Friggin' sometimes older games will actually just have pathfinding. But it's pretty rare. I think it's just because the game was made poorly. It feels really, really rushed. 
Is that like mouse shit you're like throwing in your mouth? No, they're rocks. <laughs> <laughs> they're rocks. <laughs> it's not shit, I swear. <laughs> no, I can't guarantee Spyro wouldn't like that. Use <laughs> <laughs> mouse shit. Freaking. God, there are some stupid videos I want to show you now. It's like this girl and two of her friends, a few of her friends talking about like, uh, What's it called? Um, uh, fucking, a fucking, great. fucking, fuck, fuck, fucking, uh, <laughs> freaking, I don't actually know what I'm talking about for some reason. Like, I know what I'm talking about, but I don't know. Like, I can't think for whatever reason. Well, think! Uh, childhood crushes. Uh, freaking, and like, the first or second video starts out with, look, I'm gonna take this bullet, and <laughs> Lola Bunny. <laughs> Uh, not, that doesn't make you a furry, furry, but Lola Bunny. <laughs> Freaking and honestly, you can't call someone a furry if they want to be a Lola Bunny. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> then you're a racist. <laughs> Freaking furries need to die, but people who are into Lola Bunny and like that's as far as it goes, they're fine. Yeah, that's not no. Jessica Rabbit. Who's that? You you don't know who Jessica Rabbit is? From Roger Rabbit. Uh, oh, like the Roger Rabbit. Yeah. No, but yeah, she's like human. Though. Yeah, she is human. But like, do you see those gazongas? Yeah, what, <laughs> that, what does that have to do with Lola Bunny? Dude, I'm just saying. I well, freaking I'd rail her. Well, duh. <laughs> she's supposed to be like a total babe, man. It's because she is. <laughs> <laughs> no. Where'd my freaking candy go? I dropped it. <laughs> He pulled it. Oh, there it is. Found it. <laughs> ah, it's okay. We're good. My grandma just bought me, like, two big bags of, like, chips mm -hmm. and a big thing of peanut butter m &Ms. I mean, nondescript peanut butter candy made by, like, Hershey's. Not Hershey's. And <laughs> an undisclosed company. Yeah, an undisclosed candy. candy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm actually trying to think of who makes... Like, M&M's now, though. Because I don't think it's Hershey's. Yeah. I have, like, Reese's M&M's in here. Then maybe it is Hershey's. I think Reese's is made by Hershey's. Peanut butter candy in a crunch shell. Yeah, but then it goes, it just says Reese's Pieces, though. Mm -hmm. Not, like, M&M's. But, but Reese's is owned by Hershey. Yeah. Yeah. But those aren't M&M's. It's true. So, I could check when I get home. You can check with the internet. Yeah, but I don't yeah. want to do that. <laughs> Freaking, if you're so concerned about it, you check with the internet. I don't care to. <laughs> exactly, so shut up. It doesn't matter who owns M&M's. That's true. Dude, beat the game already, bro. I will beat you. What episode is this? Seven? Six? Dude, I don't know. Six, I think, because I also know it's going to take longer to beat this game than the other one. This is like the longest game. Huh. It It's my least favorite as well, personally. I know a lot of people say the second game is their favorite, but I just don't agree with that. Like, why though? This game feels so much more tedious than the other ones do. You know? Like, this one feels like you're just running errands all the time. <laughs> Whereas the other ones are like, oh yeah, you're actually on an adventure, right? <laughs> so. Like, yeah, dude, I play this one, and like, my whole mind just freaking collapses into Yeah, bush. like, I actually have a hard time recording it as well. Just because I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't approach it with such a bad attitude. Uh, well, no, I'm going to continue with this attitude. It's just like, uh, the second game isn't my favorite. It's a toss-up between the first and the third. The first is the one I definitely play the most. Mm. But, like, I really like the third one as well, so. Okay. Who knows? Naked turtle babies. Yeah, don't worry about it. They're in diapers, even though they should have shells. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, they're big enough to have shells. Closer. 
Bitcoin. No. <laughs> what did one piglet say to the other? Racism? No. I can't, I can't do it for some reason. For him. I, I was close. Close enough. <laughs> Entering pig mode. <laughs> <laughs> So if we do record a Minecraft series, what kind of Minecraft series? Like, cause like normal gameplay, but like, do we want to like, like how hard do we want to press to like, right. do we beat wanna... the game? Or do we just want to hang out and farm all the time? And... Let's try and beat the game on like, hardcore, but like, we're just gonna take it super casually, you know? Right. We wanna have technically have hardcore, but whatever, we can just say, oh, you're dead and you're not allowed to play with us anymore. Right, yeah. You can like, spectate if you want. Right. That, that was like the way it was before Hardcore was actually implemented. Yeah, and you can't get it on consoles. Nope. Not yet. Dude, I'm excited for 1.17. Which one's that? The cave? The cave and cliff update. Yeah. Yeah. 1.17 is going to be dope. When does that come out? I don't know. Uh, it's set to release in like this year sometime, I think. But, I don't know. They've added a bunch of stuff like Dripstone. Yeah. Freaking. They changed the look of, of some of the. They increased the depth, the the freaking like bottom of the world. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff they changed. Um, they added new biomes. Like after a certain like depth, you enter a new biome. <laughs> and then it's like different stone even. Yeah, that's right. They did. They add. They've basically just like super increased the drop rate of diamond. Yeah. Like, freaking a lot of stuff. Dripstone quadruples the amount of fall damage you take. How? Uh, because it's a spike, so in theory it would be impaling you. <laughs> right? And so they, they just made it so that when you fall on a dripstone, it deals quadruple damage. You know? I guess that's fair. Oh. I ran out of super flame just at the last moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my village is being raided. Oh no. What am I gonna do? Literally nothing. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. Just let it happen. Mm -hmm. This is my life now. <laughs> <laughs> raided. <laughs> Zooming. Oof. Oh. oh. <laughs> Guess Cries. that's it. Just bursts into tears. <laughs> Oh, come on. You missed. I went over it. What was that horse shit? Well, I guess this means you lose. I guess this means I gotta go commit to poop it. Oh, it's all gone. Fuck. I, I missed the hole. You missed, you lost. Oh, I got one off, but I freaking didn't do it good. <laughs> That's sad. You go all the way back. Yeah, I know. I may have to push this turtle. Oh, I don't have to push him back onto the mud. <laughs> I think there's only that one. No, there's two of them, meaning the next one's in the next area. Yeah. And then there's this weird mini game we gotta do when we save turtle. Turtles, multiple, plural. Plural turtles. Plural turtles. Blup, blup. Forget me. Blup, blup. <coughs> hmm. We gotta find, like, turtle-centric games. Just play a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know? For no reason. Yeah, kinda. Freaking. That'd be great. Pink. Just find turtle themed games that we just play. That'd be great. That, that would honestly be awesome. Are there even like that many games that are turtle themed? No. That's why it would be great if we just found a bunch. Like, we could probably find a bunch on like Steam that just aren't very good. Most impressive. Probably. Please take this sacred. Thanks, man. Yeah, I just hate collecting all the orbs. Like, there's so many orbs and they, like, this one's definitely like the hardest of the three. So, so you, so you literally just have to collect all these orbs, but like every single one. Yeah, to hundred percent it, you have to collect every single one. There's not even like that good of a hundred percent like reward. What's the reward, bro? You get super flame for your next playthrough. Forever? Yeah, forever. And like in this, you can turn it off, but like. It doesn't really change anything. It just makes your next playthrough a little easier and less tedious. Just yeah, a right. little less tedious. It doesn't, doesn't so. sound much of an incentive. Right, like, 
and you get to do the same <laughs> card, so and you get to play the same trolley every time. No turtles. Awful. Keep uh, the turtles out of the cauldron. Why are the turtles trying to go into the cauldron? I think they're stupid. <laughs> um, <laughs> Turtle, turn from behind you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Why do they want to get in the cauldron? I think they're stupid. <laughs> That's it? Just freaking re retards? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is usually where I stand. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We gotta save another round of turts. Yay. Dude, how many orbs are there? A lot. There's like... I want to say like 80 orbs in the entire game? 120 maybe? Freaking, I don't know. And in the last, like, that's another thing. The last um, area isn't unfinished, but it feels very unfinished. How so? Like, so every level has a talisman in it, right? Uh -huh. In the last, like, homeworld, all of the levels end with just getting an orb. And so it's not like a special occasion anymore. It's just like, oh yeah, you got another orb. Right? <laughs> it's like, oh, you just got another orb, and then you just need a certain amount to fight Ripto. Like, you, you don't have to go and collect, like, uh, talismans anymore. You can just, if you have enough orbs, you can actually just go fight Ripto right from the gate, not do a single level <laughs> in the final area. That sounds great. And, yeah, it is if you're speedrunning, but, like, it's not good otherwise. <laughs> oh, you're fall off. Fuck you. <laughs> They're trying to cook themselves. Yeah. They're all suicidal. They're all kind of dumb. Freaking zoomies. Oh. There we go. Face. I got him. Don't worry about it. Cool. I saved every turtle. Dude, how does this guy have two orbs? Because he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> he's big penguin man. Dude, he sucked Hunter off for him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Hunter has most of the dragon eggs in the next game, and he has a lot of the freaking orbs in this one. How did he get them? I don't know. <laughs> that is the worst part, too. It's like, I just don't know how he got them. He just has them, you know? <laughs> it's wonderful. No, it's not. <laughs> freaking garbage. That's what it is. Make him run up the edge. I can't. He just auto corrects. Get the oh, children. I got all of them. Bye. <laughs> Skip. Skippy boys. All right. Now I'm pretty sure we can go to Autumn Springs or whatever. <laughs> you sound so excited. Yeah. Uh, we can go get all the coins. Not coins. Gems. Collectibles. We in the coins. that home world, and then we have like a bunch of levels to do. <laughs> like in the first game, there was three levels: a flight level and a boss. Right. In this one, it's random. <laughs> it's <laughs> like there's like random. there's like two flight levels in the last, or no, there's two flight levels in the next one, and then there's one flight level in the last, and there's Jeez. five normal levels in the last area. But in this one, there's all of these. Freaking, what is that? Five? Six? Yeah. And then a boss and a speedway. In the next one, there's like eight levels, a boss, and a, two speedways. And then in the last area, there's like five levels, a boss, and a speedway. It's inconsistent. Just and so then much. in the third game, there's like one speedway per area, and then five levels. And then a boss in between each level. Hmm. And then there's a secret bonus level, which I always really enjoy. Yeah. In the third game. And, like, you know, like, friggin' Nasty's Horde in the first one? It's kind of like that. <laughs> and there's, like, a total of, like, 15,000 gems. Or 24,000 gems in the entire game. And you get most of them in that bonus level. <laughs> you get most of them. Yeah. In the bonus level in this one, there aren't any gems or anything, any collectibles to be had. It's just, uh, freaking, these stupid coins that let you look at, like, different, they let you into the theater, is what it's called. 
Mm. And they let you watch different cutscenes from the game. That's it. Wow. Yep, that's the completion bonus. <laughs> that sounds awesome. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Unless we want to go wa look at Alora's thighs or some shit. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> we have to look at Alora's thighs. That's okay. We run into Alora a lot during the game. So. Isn't she the the, the the goat girl? Yeah, she's a fawn. The freaking which is like a female satyr. The girl with the big bush. <laughs> 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 she's fluffy. She's very fluffy. <laughs> Oh man, they didn't put a crystal behind the portal. That's not surprising at all. It's really difficult to get back there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh, eh, eh. Aww. Aww. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Freaking swimming sucks sometimes. I'm glad there's only like one water level in this game. Yeah. Uh, I'm happy there weren't any water levels in the first. <laughs> and then the third one, I don't think there are any water levels in it either, but one of the home worlds is just a big lake that you can swim around in. Swim and it's not that bad, because you're just swimming around in a lake. There aren't any enemies, you don't have to worry about anything. It's not a water level, it's just there. It just exists. Yeah, it's just Jay chilling as a lake. <laughs> Come on. I fucking... I'm stroking out, apparently. You're stroking. Stop stroking, man. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Laura. Here. Look at those thighs. Look at that bush. Oh. The power from your cool. I activated the whirlwind. I didn't want it. Look at those lies. <laughs> Fucking. Just thick. I hate to say it because I'll probably sound like a furry, but I probably really love Laura. Wow, <laughs> she's probably a child. No, I highly doubt that. She don't know. Considering she wants to get it on with Spyro at the end of the third game. <laughs> so, you know, that's one thing you have to wonder <laughs> about. Uh, wait, 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 hold on, wait. Why does she want to get on with Spyro? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, I heard that, you. like, side-blinded you. <laughs> yeah, but, like, I wanted, but now I'm like, okay, well, I gotta know why that de derail too far. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 I think it's always been that way though. So it's just like, oh yeah, she's like the love interest he's not interested in. You know? Oh yeah. Yeah. Is it something important? It's freaking Connor. <laughs> so it's not. Just hang up on him and text him. <laughs> <laughs> Should I? Do it, pussy. Ah! You can answer if you want. It'll oh, be too late. <laughs> oh, you've already hung up on him. <laughs> that is very funny. Thank you for that. Spyro. Oh, Spyro! The orb power has opened the door! Thanks, Professor. I like the Professor in not this game. In not this game? Yeah, no, he's alright in the third one, and he's alright in this one. But I prefer him in A Hero's Tale. You know? I mm. could let you in. Friggin', yeah, I gotta friggin' pay no 400 gems to open the way for me. Do you know the way? Do you know the way? Such an You do not know the way. <laughs> <laughs> friggin', he's gonna call back. I'm calling him. Well, uh, maybe. We have two minutes left. You have two minutes left. You're gay. You do not know the way. <sighs> did you I teleport? Uh, whatever. A hundred to open a speedway that I hate. What is that? <laughs> I think that's ocean speedway, but I can't check. <laughs> <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Friggin' the other one's metro speedway. <laughs> metro man? Do you know the muffin man? <laughs> the one that lives on Jura Lane? No! <laughs> <laughs> the other Muppet Man! No, that's it. That's the end of the conversation. I just say no and leave. <laughs> it's all weird, like. Yeah. <laughs> but, seems legit. It's way funnier this way. You know it. <laughs> Dude, fly away. Look. Ta da. Ta da, you did it, you won. You beat the game! No. Best okay. game. I gotta zoom all the way over to this orb. Can't make it. No, you definitely can. Can't make it. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. I'm gonna go this way first. Because there's an orb over here. And some gems. 
And then there's a, some gems on the other side at the top of a whirlwind that I unlocked earlier on accident by talking to Thick Girl. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna start calling Laura. Thick Girl. Thick Girl. Also, like, that room didn't have any doors in it. Nope. So how did they get in it without breaking through that wall? Dude, they're fairies. They know how to teleport. <laughs> no, I the, fairies are the, the fairies are the one who, like, hid it. Yeah, but then why would we build any of them? Because other beings live here, too. Not just fairies. <gasps> so the fairies didn't want them getting into that room? Yeah. Why? Because only a dragon could get in that room, but they're using their massive stone heads. <laughs> or stone-like heads, I guess. Frickin... There we go. We've completed two levels. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and a home world. We'll start with Crystal Glacier next episode. Yay. Yay. All right, then, if you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. Definitely go check out our other content. All right, then, until next time, peace out. Bye-bye.